Hi guys, welcome to today's video to my channel. I have been procrastinating making this video. Procrastinate my life, so. Thank you for joining. Thank you for clicking. Thank you for being here. I don't fully know what today's video is going to be about. I think more than anything, I just wanted to be like a chit chat. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be like my other videos where I sit and talk about a topic. I kind of think it's just going to be more about how I'm experiencing that topic right now, but I'll probably incorporate things about that topic. I'm going to talk a little bit about depression today. And again, not really a lot about depression, but just kind of like how I'm feeling lately. And I feel really weird talking about this because I haven't even really talked to any of my friends about it. I've talked to Nick about it and my mom a little bit and my dad a little bit, but mostly Nick. I just, I don't know. I think a lot of people are feeling this way and I want people to know that <laughs> you're not that different or strange or anything like a lot of people are feeling this way man i've got my starbucks in hopes that this might help me first of all let's get it out of the way i look cute today i went to a drive-by baby shower and i'm feeling like so good i'm so proud of my makeup and i just feel really cute today and it feels really good to dress up a little bit and actually have something to do let's start off kind of just talking about like what is depression because I think it's something that's very misunderstood just like anxiety and ADHD actually like all these things that people you know they pick and choose symptoms of these disorders and then just assume that they have it or assume that someone else has it has it has it I think the main thing to know about depression is it's more than just feeling sad just like anxiety you can feel anxious you can feel scared you can, fear, you can feel fearful, but that doesn't mean that you have an anxiety disorder. Depression is just like that. You can feel sad, you can feel depressed, you can feel unmotivated. That doesn't mean that you have depression. And it also doesn't mean that you have like full-time depression. A lot of people will get like depression that comes about when something in their life happens, like losing somebody or a traumatic event, just something like that. They'll get just depression from that. A lot of people think that those who experience, I try not to say suffer, those who experience depression or have that extra thing in their luggage people tend to think that those people are lazy or bad friends there's just that idea that you're not always a good person because you're just you just have no energy to do anything you have no energy to get up and go pee sometimes like it's hard to expect us to have the energy to make plans and be on our tough game and act like we got our crap together. The way I kind of, again, I feel like I've said this, but the way I kind of explain it is that anxiety is kind of up here. Like you feel very like, oh my God. <laughs> and depression's like, and it's, it's not that you're unfazed by anything, it's that you're too phased by things that you just shut down. <laughs> I heard you coming. <laughs> It's really difficult because I find that like at least when my depression hits, it, I'm just done. I'm done taking everything in and feeling things. And so I just shut down and it's that numbness. When I feel depressed, I cry a lot. When I am having my depression, depressive swings or my depress depressive states of being, where my medication might not be working or something came up that reminded me of something or whatever, I just don't even have the energy to cry. I don't have the energy to do anything and this might be TMI, but when I was really experiencing depression before medication and all of that, I didn't even have the energy to self-harm sometimes. Like I was just so tired. I just wanted to lay in bed and I wanted nothing to bother me, no one to bother me. I didn't even have, like I said, like I didn't have the energy to shower, I didn't have the energy to eat, to drink, to do anything except lay in bed and just stare at the wall, stare at the ceiling, not even hate everything, just 
feel like I was done. And it wasn't always like a suicidal thing. It was just, I'm tired and I just wish I could have an endless sleep and forget that everything happened and move forward. And depression is very common, like anxiety. It's a very, very common disorder. And I just don't understand why people find it weird to talk about because everybody has experienced depressive moods and whether or not they've been diagnosed with depression everyone has experienced that state of just feeling unmotivated like there's not really a purpose to life everyone has experienced that at one point or another and if you haven't tell me your tricks <laughs> let me into your life let me be you thanks depression is so hard to talk about and I think the reason for me is because just like suicide, people kind of act like, well, why are you feeling that way? Why just don't do that? That's an awful thing, right? With suicide and or self-harm. It's the same thing with depression. Like, why would you want to waste your life in bed? And it's like, I don't know. I don't want to. That's the thing. I don't want to. It's just, I'm tired of fighting with myself for it. And you know, it's uh, it's an ongoing battle, internal battle of what side of you is right, what side of you is wrong. And we're back. I'm literally so done with you. I what was it mean? Quiet in the audience. Please. I didn't say a word. Quiet in the audience. This happens a lot to me where, um, especially when I'm on my medication, so I'm really fighting with myself on what side of myself to listen to, the medication side or the depression side. This thing happens where it's not that I'd say I'm depressed again, but I would say that it's there. And it feels like every morning I wake up lately, it's standing there over top of my, like over top of me, on like over my bed, staring at me. And it's, it's a lot and it's so hard to get out of bed and fight it because it's exhausting to fight it when it feels like you're gonna wake up tomorrow morning and it's just gonna be there again. Nick goes to work early, my mom's usually doing something, so all my mom has to do is just open my door, Millie comes in, and I feel like I can get out of bed for Yahoo! the day. Nicholas? It's morning time when Millie comes in. <sighs> yeah, like I know my mom and I were talking about it today on our drive. She was just like, so what's been going on? And I think that's one of the other my, like my mom under Nicholas, my mom understands it, but I know a lot of people, when I say I'm just sad, they're like, why are you just sad? Like, you've got to have a reason. And the thing with depression is like, you don't always have a reason. Maybe subconsciously there's a reason, but there's nothing at the forefront of your mind that's saying this is what you're sad about. Your body just feels drained and like it's running out of battery life. I've just been feeling that lately, and I do think it's just about what's going on in the world and... I'm scared for the world to open up again because I won't have excuses not to hang out with people when I don't feel like being that social that day or going out to a movie or stuff like that. Like I don't have those excuses. I've loved embracing my introvert side <laughs> during quarantine. So I think part of it's just feeling scared about that and feeling kind of stuck in my life and not really sure where to go. And I've just been not doing the best and my I said to my dad the other day I'm not feeling like myself and he said well you are yourself this is a part of you and I said you're right so I'm just not feeling like the best version of myself and that's the thing is it's hard not to get mad at yourself for that but when you get mad at yourself for that you make it even worse <laughs> so I was saying to Nick that it felt like I was in quicksand and somebody's holding the branch out for me like I, I can be easily pulled out another version of myself is holding the branch for me no, I couldn't easily be pulled out. That ruins the analogy. I'm at the point where I'm tired of trying to pull myself out because it's very hard to get out of quicksand, but it's very easy to get sucked in. I know it's worth fighting for it, and I know it's worth fighting to get out, but I'm just tired, and that's depression. <laughs> Not just no energy, but there's almost no point to getting out. And again, that has to do with what's going on in the world. I just feel like I'm stuck, and I feel like, one, I have so many ideas of where I want to go with my life and this channel and my brand and all of this but then I doubt myself and then I feel like where do I even start what do I do is it even worth it is it a stupid idea and then I get in this cycle and then on top of what I'm feeling with that right now everything going on in the world I just feel like 
I just feel like I don't know what to do about it anymore. And if you had asked high school me, she would have felt the same, but she would have gone for it and done everything she could to help. But the thing is, is nowadays I just, I've learned that I can't, you know, make excuses for people anymore. I can't fix everything and everyone. I am not in control of the world as much as I feel like it sometimes and as much as my body and my shoulders feel like it sometimes with the weight of the world. I'm not the only person on this earth, therefore I'm not the only person that should be making a change and it's okay for me to accept that and be okay with that and not feel guilty like I am lately, feeling like I just, it's selfish of me to think this and selfish of me to say that. Yeah, just feeling like I don't know what else to do to help the world and just, you know, I talked to a friend about it with this whole Black Lives Matter thing when it first came up. She was like kind of frustrated with me that I wasn't posting anything and I was like, I'm frozen, like I don't know what to do. I feel like no matter how much I fight, nothing's ever going to change and I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted of not seeing a bigger change and I have to keep reminding myself I know that there has been a change, but you know, I thought by now we'd be somewhere else and that's my own fault for thinking something and expecting something. It's an exhausting thing and it's a frustrating thing because you, at least me, like for me, I want to have energy to do these things and I want to have energy for my friends and for my family and for myself, but I just, where do I find that energy? I don't know where that energy comes from right now because I don't have any of it. And if I did, I don't even know how I would start using it right now because I just feel so like stuck in quicksand. <laughs> I have found that when I'm depressed, I prefer someone just to kind of sit there and be with me and not let me be alone with my thoughts and myself because I'm not always sure when I could switch and I could have the energy to do something that I would regret the next morning. My anxiety and depression story is pretty much the same. Like they're pretty much hand in hand with each other. I was told in grade five that I most likely could develop depression and then it wasn't until about grade nine that like it really started to hit and I wouldn't go to school for weeks and or sorry like I wouldn't go to school for days I had been hiding a lot of stuff for years and feeling like I couldn't do a lot so my bottle was exploding <laughs> I'd shaken it up and it exploded and then I was on and off through high school and then got meds felt a little bit better got off my meds and if you guys haven't watched any of my videos let's just say I shouldn't have took, taken myself off my meds. Here we are. I've been all right and I joke with Nick and my mom a lot that it feels like my or my ADHD has been on the back burner for so long because my depression and anxiety have been the main focus and my insomnia and all that stuff. And ADHD always seemed like the thing nobody had to really worry about. So my ADHD has been very upfront lately and like ready to party, ready to be center of attention, all of that stuff as you guys can see from my videos. And so I'm feeling a little bit like I've gone backwards because I'm feeling depressed again. And it's an awful feeling to feel like you're back at square one. And I know I'm not. And I'm trying to remind myself that, like all those good things, things I'm trying to remind myself all that. But, you know, it's also okay to feel those things and to sit down with yourself and go, I'm feeling this. And not making excuses, not, you know arguing it just I'm feeling this and that's what I've been trying to do and I'm trying to talk more and not just wait for an outburst to talk to Nick like actually chatting with him more often and expressing myself a little bit more instead of waiting and really trying not to push him away this time because last time I went through this it was a little bit difficult for our relationship because I didn't want to be touched I didn't want to be cuddled I didn't even want him to tell me I he loved I didn't even want him to tell me he loved me because I didn't feel like I deserved it and I don't want to get there again so I'm really trying not to do that because that's not fair to him it's not fair to anyone I'm thankful to have someone like him in my life and like my mom and my dad and my friends and I really hope that you guys can find a person like that especially with something like depression that's so misunderstood I really hope you guys have the courage, can find the courage within yourselves to find that person because it is scary to find that person. But once you do, you won't even remember all the people that weren't there for you because you're just going to be so thankful that someone is now. I really hope you guys can reach out and I to whoever 
and find the help that you guys deserve and find the tools that work for you. Find the reasons to get out of bed each day. Nothing gets me ready for the day like Millie and you need to find that thing, whether it is a pet or whether it's a, a song that's your alarm, that's the first thing you listen to or wake up to is this song that just makes you feel really ready for the day. Find your tools, find your skills. You all deserve to get out of that quicksand. I am trying to remind myself that I do too. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you because you're lazy. I hate that word. There's nothing wrong with you because you don't have motivation. There's nothing wrong with you because you want to lay in bed. Just means you got to work a little harder than other people to get through the day, which sucks, but it also means that you can appreciate things a lot more than someone else and appreciate the good moments. So find those good moments and appreciate them because there is a lot of beauty to life and there are a lot of good things going on in our world right now and we need to try and focus on those. Not forget about the bad, but try and focus on the good over the bad. As always, I really hope you guys are taking care of yourselves and doing what's best for you right now. You deserve it and I just really hope that you guys can realize that yourselves. <sighs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it, always. Sending love and hugs and all the positive vibes. Bye guys.